picker I got. Oh, maybe another one or two. I don't know how many pickers I got today. I can't even track. Four, maybe five. Leo and I are back in California at the Lucky Claim. It's already getting warm, but uh, it's good to be back here and uh, spend the day looking for gold and swimming in the river and life is good. Anyways, I did a couple sample pans. I'll show you what I got. And uh, I got the sluice set up because uh, I'm not getting pickers right now. So I'm just going to move a bunch of material and hopefully uh, get a bunch of flakes. Here you go. There's Leo uh, doing his supervising. And here's a recent sample pan. Finger for size, they're not huge, but uh, some nice little flakes. And coming out of a hole over there, got the breaker bar to move rocks. Move rocks from last time. And then way down there, is the sluice with the keen. You see that right there in the water. And you dump and pour, no classifying. So just moving buckets. See what I get. More to come. Well, here is where I'm digging underneath this boulder. It looks like pretty good gravel. But interestingly enough, the pans are petering out. There's, uh, there's really no gold. The deeper I go, the less gold there is. So I think it was this flood gold on top, which is kind of a bummer. So it looks good. But while I'm over here panning, I noticed some nice areas have developed due to the low water levels, like this uh, kind of semi-submerged uh, crevice. And another one here, I started digging. You see this bedrock's fracturing. So I took a, a sample of this gravel and uh, that looked pretty good. Now, it's also interesting because we've done a lot of panning here <laughs> when the water was higher. And so I might be getting some of our sloppy pannings uh, but it also is a natural bench let's see the water comes this way and there's an eddy here so it's it's depositing sand and rocks so I think I'm gonna scoop up some of this stuff and run it through the sluice I think first of all it's hot we're gonna go swimming over there in the swimming hole find Leo there's Leo. Leo, let's go swimming. There goes Leo. Woo! <laughs> well, Tim is right. Nothing is as refreshing as a plunge in the Yuba River to stimulate the uh the appetite for some more prospecting ah, that was great now back to work I found this root ball on the way back from our swim so i'm gonna bust it up and see if there's any gold in there all right i separated the uh root organics from the gravel that was mixed in there quite a bit let's see if there's any gold I'm not sure how well the camera is showing it, but we got gold out of that root ball. Not a lot, but I'll take it. It's pretty cool. There's gold lying around. Just got to pick it up and pan it. All right, back to what we were doing. All right, got the picker of the day here. Nice, big, chunky. Let's see if you can hear it. I can hear it. It's all bent up, so it's quite the little nugget. 
but uh, nice picker. I guess one of the day for sure. So far, haven't cleaned up the sluice. I don't think it weighs a lot because it's just all bent and folded on itself, but that's great. And then just a bunch of fines in the sample pan. So I'm gonna keep running from that gravel bar or submerged gravel bar. Maybe there's more pickers like that. It's great. So I'm running my King A52S here today. And I really like it. Uh, I like my Angus McCurt too, but as you see, the King has legs, so it's more versatile where you can set up. It does take a lot of water, so I'm in midstream here, but uh, it's very adjustable. The other thing I like about it is it's got this uh, kind of nugget trap classifier on top so you know all the good stuff goes through here and all the heavies and larger rocks roll off the top and don't mess around with the uh, fluid dynamics in, in that part of the sluice and then they roll off the back so I, I like that part too so it's uh it's a really good sluice it captures fines as well as the big pieces but uh it does take a lot of water, so you got to have good water flow. Otherwise, it gets backed up in there, and you just get a ton of black sand, and yeah, it just doesn't work as well. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's doing the job today. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Maybe not. Big pieces go off the top. And then down there, you can see where the rocks come out. The rest of the fine stuff meets the larger rocks and they shoots out the back there. But there are ripple bars there. So it's still capturing. You get a full three feet plus of capture zone. All right, I gotta do this two-handed. I can't film and dump. All right, just pulled the sluicinator out. Let's see a big one from here, look at that. Uh, picker maybe. A couple other pieces here. Great. I see gold. Yeah, I haven't pulled this. This part pops off too. I haven't pulled that. You just see a lot of black sand. So whatever gold's there is probably buried. Definitely got some gold. It's great. Put that thing right up. Heavier's fall out up here, but not always. All right, let's clean this baby up. Well, I have way too much black sand to clean it up here, creek side, but I did get another picker, chunky guy. Similar to the first one. Very nice, happy about that. Clean this up a little bit, I'll dump out my snuffer and see all the big pieces together. All right, here's my snuffer dump. Here's the swing chunky pieces. There's two of those. And another picker I got. Oh, maybe another one or two. I don't know how many pickers I got today. I can't even trap. Four, maybe five. I gotta clean this up. It's hard with all this black sand, and uh, yeah, I don't have a, a lot of capacity here. I only have two pans. I need more pans. I need a blue bowl. But uh, yeah, I'll get some pictures at home. But this is uh, awesome.
great day. All right, I gotta stop and check out one spot before I pack it all up. I told myself I'd scout one new spot today, so uh, gonna do that now. And otherwise, I'll show you the cleanup when I get back home. too much uh, jet dry. Alright, here's the snuffer bottle. All cleaned up. These are pretty nice little stickers. Very chunky. Couple picker flakes. Most of my pickers are flakes, but these are very chunky ones. I'm running the cons to clean up sleeves. Take a while. I think I got too much jet dry in the water. Yeah, I'll show you all the cleanup later.